Kip K presents Two Dollar Cool Can. This summer has been really hot. In fact, it's so hot, Domino wanted to go in the pool, but he decided to just have a few drinks instead. He's a crazy cat. To make our two dollar cool can, you need a coffee can. I'm using a small plastic coffee can because it's easier to work with. You'll see why in just a sec. Now I need a separator inside and I'm going to use an old grill off the back of a computer. This goes over the power supply. Now if you don't have one of these, you can use a blank filler CD or even some plastic from a takeout container. Anything that you can cut fairly easily. I modified my grill by cutting some off so it'll fit perfectly inside of my coffee can. We need to make some holes in the very bottom of the coffee can. This is what's going to suck the air in. I'm going to use a drill and drill holes all the way around the can. This is how it looked when I was done, and I also installed my grill inside using some hot glue. Now it's time for me to dig through my small box of computer fans that I've gathered over the years, and I found a small fan that's going to work perfectly for this project. I bought a two-pack of 9-volt battery clips. These were about $1.50, and I cut the connector off the fan and installed the 9-volt battery clip using some solder and heat shrink tubing. And testing this fan out with a 9-volt battery... Sure enough, it screams. Time to install the fan on the top. Now you have to pay attention to the airflow arrows because you want the air coming out of the can up into your face. Now I used an X-Acto knife. You could use a pair of scissors or a razor blade. Anything to cut the plastic top. Make a nice clean circle that the fan will fit over. And then using some hot glue, I glued the fan in place. Now we need an old USB cable. Any one will work because we're going to clip the ends off and we're going to save the red and black wires because that's power and ground. Now the second 9 volt battery clip comes into play and we're going to solder this to the other end of our USB cable. But you're going to flip the red and black. Okay, it's time to grab what's going to keep us cool and that's ice. I just grabbed a handful of ice cubes, put them in a Ziploc bag and dropped it into my cool can. Connect the USB cable plug the USB cable in the computer and our cool can is up and running and sure enough it's blowing nice cool air. Now we can also use this with just a 9 volt battery and make it portable. Take it anywhere you want. Oh and you can make a handy little stand with a couple of large binder clips to lay the cool can down on its side so it points right at your face. That's how to make a two dollar cool can to keep you chilled this summer. Click the box on the left to go to my channel for some more cool projects or the box on the right for some more hacks and mods. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.